All right, listen up. Elimination diets might actually be your problem. I know. I know. It's counter to what everybody's saying. You know, you got to eliminate this and eliminate this and eliminate FODMAPs and eliminate this and salicylates and all these things. And in the past, I've said for, for almost 14 years, I've talked about elimination diets. And in fact, in many of my programs, I have built different versions of elimination diets. And what I'm trying to tell you right now is that if you're doing an elimination diet past eight weeks without reintroducing these foods, using the support your body needs, then the elimination diets are actually harming you. And we need to get this message out because in order to have a healthy gut, in order to have a healthy body, in order to recover from whatever you're dealing with, I don't care uh, where it's, if it's in your brain, if it's in your eyes, your lungs, your, your belly, you know, your, uh, your sex organs, whatever it might be, um, you're going to need the metabolites from a healthy microbiome. And those metabolites, things like short chain fatty acids, like butyrate, things like this, they can only come from the majority of the foods that get eliminated on these elimination diets. They're fermentable foods. So this idea that we need to be doing elimination diets forever, that, uh, that we can just do gluten-free and eat all processed food without fermentable fiber, any of these ideas, they got to go because it is continuing to harm people, and then they end up creating this dysbiotic bacteria uh, stasis, basically this microbiome that's dysbiotic, by eliminating foods even more. I'm Stephen, the Healthy Gut Guy. Please protect your microbiome when you go on elimination diets. That's the way to do it. They are a helpful tool if supported in the right way.